just the keyboard. Uh, that was a hell of a visual. Do you even have a computer or you just have the keyboard? You're just sitting outside naked with a keyboard. Yes. All right. Good to know. And like the umbrella that I have has no like cloth on it. <laughs> so you got like a skeleton of an umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, Where's a photographer okay. when you need one? Yeah, really. Why don't I, uh, I'm going to just roll the show and, uh, and figure it out as we go along. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, listen. Radio. I beg your pardon. What'd you say? That's why I want you to go on the radio. With your voice, you'll be sensational. You're listening to the Five Gallon Podcast. There's no doubt that we are dealing with a mechanical monster. What's he talking about? I think it's an experimental model operated by a crew of midgets. Bringing you the best of independent music from around the globe. Wait a minute, what goes on in here? Five Gallon Podcast with your host, Corey Coates. What's up, Ayn? Hey, not much. How's it going? I'm all right. Are you actually wearing clothes or are you just saying that you're not? No, I just got out of the shower. I literally have a... I have a purple and brown towel. Like, not... not you know, combine those colors and like literally two different towels on. Why are you wearing two towels? Like one for top, one for bottom? No, because I, well, no, just because I just get cold, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's one of those like. Gotcha. All right, that was a good segment. Perfect. <laughs> Let's try the next one. Okay. La la. How many segments do we have here? Uh, this one's going to be. I've just got to, like, let me see, 8 minutes to 9.20. So, like, a minute and 20 seconds is next one. Super fast. Oh, okay. Uh, you got anything you want to talk about, like dogs and, and pantyhose? Yeah, um, what... What was that link that you sent me with, like, freaky human fake skin? Like, that was just a bummer killer. Like, if you're going to do something in skin... Yeah. You might as well do it in real skin. Okay, like, it's fake skin, though. Did... Yeah, I know. It's But I know I know what you mean. I don't know why like, I'm... I'm just finding all this weird shit on the internet now. Like, I'm going on the internet, I'm finding weird shit everywhere. Well, I mean, like, my question is, how many how many dead people, right, that, like, in the morgue right now that have perfectly healthy skin that is not being used? Um, I mean, they're not really using it. Oh, like, mean, it makes perfect sense to me. Oh, the like, que- recycle. The question is, with the, with the mini skin furniture, why aren't they using real skin? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's try a second. What, what's the fake skin made out of? What's the fake? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'd love. I, I need. Uh, can you gonna go like down to the art, arts and crafts store and like buy it? That'd be great. I mean, probably it's pig skin. Probably it's all pig skin. It's always pig because skin. Because they use pig skin this to is protect. It. What? Five gallon podcast. Amazing, huh? Wow. <laughs> We're balls deep in independent music. Surely you and I have better things to do on a Saturday night than, than look at pictures of dogs wearing pantyhose. Uh, you, you do. I don't. Well, <laughs> because I can't. I thought that a dog would be resistant to putting the pantyhose on. You know, like well, I had cats, right? And cats would be like, you're not putting that shit on me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why we don't see pictures of cats right now in pantyhose. Do you think you've got... somebody's going to lose a freaking eye and like... I need some plastic surgery. You've got 14 cats. You're telling me you couldn't sedate one of them and get pantyhose on them? Well, I mean, I, growing up, I know how to, like, straddle a cat and feed medicine to it. Yeah. Well, isn't that the same? I mean, just straddle it the other way and just put a little mini pantyhose on it? Yeah, the thing is, the other way, they have a face and also coming with that teeth. You're small, right? Mmm... Well, you're smaller than, than I'm most. I'm not like a halfling small. But. Okay, but you're small. I mean, the question I guess now is that, like, do you get small pantyhose? Or do you, like, small pantyhose, do they just naturally fit on dogs? Well, yeah, it's like, well, pantyhose is a one-size-fit-all thing. Okay, so, so you like, be- if, you're, if you're fun-sized, then you, you can get pantyhose without having to go to, like, a special section of the store. I believe so. I'm not fun-sized, so don't quote me on that. All right. Uh, I found oh, a guy. But I am petite, so maybe that is fun size. Oh, you're petite. I think you're fun sized. Are you outside? It sounds like you're outside. No, I'm not. I'm actually inside, and it sounds like I'm outside. But no. Yeah, it's a lot of humming and noises and stuff. Are you on your road? Are you on the podcaster? 
Yeah, I am driving. While I thought we talk. so. <laughs> mm. No, I like who drives naked. Actually, there was this one time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this leads to a really bad story, but pretty much, um, I was about to go out, and my best friend calls me, and he had this like psycho vision, right? And I'm like, okay, dude, you're you need to, you're freaking out, and you're half asleep. I'm not listening to you. But he was just like he was generally warning me, like, do not go into the car that's white, right? And I'm like, okay, whatever. And he's like, I'm serious. Don't go into the white car. And I'm like, okay, I won't go into any white car. I'm taking the bus, damn it. And so, and so you know, that scene ends. We go out. I'm going. I'm alone at the bus stop. And a naked, like, hemp, well, not so decent man comes out at, uh, in a white car and asks me if I want to ride. Really? And, yeah. And I was just like, oh, God. I'm not getting in. <laughs> so Psycho vision from the future. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try another segment here. Subscribe to the Five Gallon Podcast at the iTunes Music Store today. With new episodes every week, it's easy, it's free, and it might even get you laid. How, how do you actually go through life knowing full well that, that you smell like fish, if you do? Oh. Well, I'd be probably pretty proud of it. It's like, you know, you have sushi every day, but really. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach down into, into my sack here. You've got some mail. You've got mail. Uh, hey, Corey, thanks for this podcast. I listen every Monday morning on my drive to work. Uh, I think it was last week that you talked to Jody from Dorado and mentioned that he played in a band called Through the Sparks. Oh, that's correct. Um, have you heard the new stuff from Cosmonaut on Vacation? That's from... Uh, that's from Kimberly in Birmingham, Alabama. I, I, I like when I get mail. So that, that's, an, that's an email. So you know what I did? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just uh, I just called somebody from Birmingham. That's what I did. Oh, really? I'm not. There's and? A, there's a ton of background noise on your end, eh? I don't know what background noise you're talking about. It's like a pretty <laughs> freaking homely house here. Uh, you know what it is? Right? And then it disappears like... That's that's nice when you start talking. You got to talk more. Hello. Oh, that's good. What How's was that? <laughs> Do that all the time, forever. <laughs> Hang on. Last time. Uh huh. I, I can't do it. Wait. It, but anyway, it, last time I was at your pad. Uh, here we go. Congratulations. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Wait. Hey, interrupt. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> this is my job. I do this for a living. Oh, you're such a pro. Uh, I'm ready. Okay. I don't understand. You're, you're going to tell me a story about what? Oh, last time I was at your house, you were supposed to give me stamps. Mm. I don't know if I can give these stamps away because they're attached to envelopes that are special to me. Yeah, but I just, I just, I just get like a quarter of that envelope. Do you want to, do you want to come over, do you want to come over next week and I'll give you some stamps? Yeah. They're for your mom, right? Yeah. All right. Does your mom smell like fish? Mm, she smells like Chinese. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> why? Why do I have this thing? And I know, and this is probably racist to say, but don't. Doesn't each culture have a distinct smell or aroma? Oh man, Indians! I'll tell you. Right. Indians have this like incredibly, like, pundit smell about them. I don't know. They just always smell like they've been rolling around in like red seeds. I don't know. I'm gonna get some email now. You know that people are gonna email me. <laughs> like, like I, but you're right though because it, look I don't want to say it but I'm going to say it anyway there was there was a friend of mine uh, in high school he used to go over to his house all the time and every time you walk in his house you like you get blasted with curry oh, that's so good that's a good that's a good thing to get blasted by you know? if someone happens to be cooking with curry that night of the week not every night of the week you get up in the morning you smell like curry that can't be good well that's pretty much what I feel like happens with Indians. But <laughs> right. I don't know about Chinese because maybe because, you know, I might be a little biased, but Well, you're from Singapore. What do you smell like? Seawater. <laughs> what do Canadians smell like? You make fun of us all the time. <laughs> because you guys don't know English. What do you mean we don't know English? We came from England. Yeah, and apparently you don't even like spell things the proper way. Like we, No, quite the opposite. We spell things properly. Uh -huh. it's, it's, I was talking to Andrew about this, and like mm. we had this entire discussion of what what is correct 
smelling, and it was just like all off. It sounded like you said smelling. What's correct smelling? Smelling. <laughs> I like smelling better. You're not, you're not smelling. <laughs> well, we were properly. just talking about smell. So. Uh, I see. I'm trying to figure out um, if you took a. Oh, you can't get a cat in pantyhose. Obviously, you can get a dog in pantyhose because there's pictures all over the internet. We should put a turtle in pantyhose <laughs> and then rob a bank. <laughs> So you put like a like a pair of pantyhose like over the whole turtle and just throw it in the bank door and say, everybody yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, while well, wearing Bob Marley masks. Mm. I, I didn't I didn't shower ahead of the show and uh, I feel bad that you did. Well, the reason why I did was because I had like a pound of um, bleach on my head, so I need to get that off. A pound of bleach. Not a pound per se, but enough bleach to like have my hair fall out. Did you dye your hair again or did you mess up your head? Um, uh, both. Okay, what color is your hair now? No, um, it's going to be purple and green. Okay, so what did you have to do? Like, you had to get all the color out first before yeah, you put a new one in? Yeah, get the color out of, like, my natural hair color. Imagine that. <sighs> Isn't your hair all crunchy now, like, if you, to touch? No. Actually, no, because, um, I have extremely healthy hair, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> Who told you that? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I don't know if I buy it because people come up to me and just go, "Wow, your hair is so healthy. How do you do that?" And How? I'm like, "Bitch, please." And what and what on and what are they basing that? I mean, they're just walking up to you randomly and they're saying, "Hey, you've got healthy hair." What qualifies them to actually say that to anyone? Well, because a lot of women who do dye their hair, you know, the boxes or whatever, it's incredibly damaging to their head. So, you know, after doing it like 3 or 4 times, they really do notice like a crunchy I'm turning into the Blair Witch. The boxes? Kind of. Yeah, the, the the hair dye boxes. Oh, like I thought that was slang for a woman who, like, dyes her hair. You stupid no. box. Yeah, she's just a box. All right. Do you want to you wanna try uh, 30 seconds, you describe me in, in uh, to the police? Okay. All right. Oh, that's it. <laughs> He's six foot four, black, and has an afro the size of Jamaica. The whole country of Jamaica? Yeah. Oh. Is this because, like, if you... And, uh -huh. So let, uh, imagine that I did actually rob a place. Uh -huh. And now you're like, you're, you're helping me get away with it? Is that the idea? Yeah, I mean, like, I have a... Uh, you know, it's like one of those Johnny Cash sort of like admirance of criminals. Straight up, that was awkward. <laughs> that was the most awkward thing I've ever heard. Why? I don't know. I just, I guess I'm trying to imagine myself. We have cookies. It's six foot four? Yeah, it's different. Well, six four is weird, right? Because now I see myself, I'm talking to you. I'm six four and I'm black. I'm black. Yeah. With Which an means afro, the size of Jamaica. Since we're being racist here and I'm already going to get in trouble for it. But, sure. You know, and now that I'm 6'4 and I'm black, uh -huh. you know I got to... You, you can be an NBA star. I know. Big feet, big snake in the trousers. That's my guess. Apparently. That's what I, I hear. That's what I hear too, but I've had several women tell me that that's a very bad misconception. Is that right? There's like well, a, there's a bunch of big, tall black guys with little peckers. Yeah. Really? Apparently. And you probably, like, I'm not you specifically, but you as in uh, uh, the female generation. <laughs> this would go out in the world. and uh, I represent them at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm like an ambassador. Let's say you go to the bar and you start hitting on this really tall black guy. You're like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to fucking ride the snake all the way to affinity. And then, you know, you realize when he gets home that he's just got like a little average white dick. That would suck. Uh, yeah, I've kind of been there. Because... <laughs> <laughs> with really? What's the tallest guy you'd go out with? I've been with like six foot five, I think. Six five. And what are you what yeah. are you? You're like you're like three six three six. two? Yeah, I'm three two. Three two, yeah. So that's three that's two. almost double your height. Oh uh, yeah, it is. It is. Um But no, I don't know. It's like for me, like over usually over six foot is like a good height, but I don't know, it varies sometimes where you just date. Guy. Do you do that thing like where where he holds your hands? The tongue, yeah. And then okay. you what? you huh? walk you walk up his body and then you flip over. You know what I'm talking about? Spider Man? No, there's a thing where you like okay you you grab like you're you're with somebody, you know like like kid, 
and then you, you grab the kid's hands and then they with their feet walk up your legs and up your belly and chest and then flip over. I think I did that in gymnastics. Yeah. But no. So, Adults don't do that. Never too late. Never too late. <laughs> never. But I'd probably break something, so. You'd probably break I know if you did it to me, you'd break me. Yeah, because I am I am pretty heavy. I don't know if you can withstand the massive fat. <laughs> yes, I don't want to guess how much you weigh, but I'm going to uh, later okay. on. Like if, if we had like a carnival game, you know, we should do. You would be really good at that if we had like a carnival game set up out front on the beach. I I would because I'd be hula hooping and throwing discs and trying to like juggle. Yeah. What, what would but, um, I do? what would I be in charge of? Would I be guessing people's weight or age? You'd be in charge of drinking. That's not a game. That's not well. Wait me. Maybe they could throw rings over me. I could just sit there and drink scotch, and they could throw rings at me. <laughs> the the live like horseshoe toss. I like this. Called? That's a really good idea. Huh. I I guess. Do you have any ducks? Do you have ducks? No, that's not me. What do you mean that's not you? That wasn't me. I heard ducks too, but that was definitely not me. Yeah. <sighs> but um, no, I I'm I'm t I weigh too little to donate blood, so that's how much I weigh. They don't like let whatever you, what do you the mean? minimum amount you need to be to like donate blood. I'm under that. You're kidding. They won't let you do it. No, they won't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you go you go into the blood bank, right? And and you say, uh, you know, hello. I would, I would I would like to yeah hi that's good I would like to donate blood today they uh -huh. ask you how much you weigh or do they weigh you they um they weigh you I believe I've never donated blood but um they were asking like the Red Cross was asking like uh people to donate blood and I'm like sure I'll I'll, I'll give some people blood mm -hmm. and um I'll be generous bastards and um the lady was like, Larry, how much do you weigh? And I was like, 43 kilos at the time. I don't know. And she was like, you have to be over 50. I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? You have to be over 50. Yeah, really. I mean, 50 kilos is pretty, pretty substantial. Yeah. Is it because they require a certain amount of blood? They're like, look, we, yeah. we, we need a pint or whatever amount they put into a bag. And you can't yeah. fill a bag of blood? Yeah. Yeah, hmm. because they take like one fourth of your blood or whatever. So... I don't know, like, whatever the amount that they need is kind of like one-fourth of a normal person. Okay. And I was not a normal person, apparently, so <laughs> if they if, if they did it with me, it would have been like one-third of my blood. So instead so of like, when, you know how you go to like a carnival and they won't let you get on the roller coaster because you're too and short? And they ask for blood? I yeah. don't. I think you're going to the wrong carnival. Okay. Um, You can go on the roller coaster, though, right? Not after you donate blood. Okay, but let's suppose that we're... <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no blood now just the okay. roller coaster you know the you know, the, know you know the guy with the hand that says you know if you're if you're under this height you you can't go on the roller coaster are you loud on that roller coaster i don't know i haven't done roller coasters in a really long time but um i've never been turned away yeah okay well i, th I feel like you've got a way that you can charm your way on the coaster no i have never charmed anything like the most I've charmed anybody was like spitting on them accidentally. So. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, you know when you're eating and then you're just like talking out loud while you're eating. Yeah, food flies. What do you know? You got food in your mouth and you're talking at the same time. Well, that happens. Like you've never spoken to a person with food in your mouth. Well, not to the degree that it's going to fly out and hit them. Well, it hits accidentally. I mean, you can't control every particle. I understand that's not on purpose, but there's a, there's a point in your life where you've got to realize that I've got food in my mouth. <laughs> and if I keep talking and pushing air through it, that that food is probably going to expel. <laughs> if you're in front well, of me... Well, I mean, me, if you get, like, a bite of an apple, right? You're not, like, shoving <laughs> steak down your throat. I mean, it's an apple. Who said steak? One bite? Huh? I, I guess maybe steak. Yeah, I'm having a big slice of steak. And <laughs> I'm going to talk at you. No, like, yeah, if you have steak in your mouth, like, what's wrong with you? Enjoy that steak. But, I mean, if you have an apple, like, how many people have talked to, like, spoken to you with an apple in their mouth? All of them. All of them, see? Yeah. Anybody with an apple talks to me. How many cats yeah. do you have now? Twelve? I have one. Okay. <laughs> so you've had twelve cats. <laughs> uh, the maximum I had at one point was five. Really? Yeah. All in the same area? Yeah. 
Okay, so they're all running around, and, and what do you do? You let them, are they outdoor okay. cats? Yeah, um, two of them, three of them were from Singapore, so I brought them here, and then, like, the other two we kind of collected, and um, one of them was mine, which I still have, and um, the other three from Singapore died, um, and the other two are still around. Um, in the house right now, there's two. Like, the main house, there's two, and then my house, there's one, so. If you there's wanted like to put pantyhose on those cats, you... You couldn't find them small enough. That's my point. Um, yeah, that would be really big. Like, I could probably put pantyhose on my cat because I know her well enough. Okay, but, I mean, does your cat have big enough legs or could you find pantyhose small enough to fit your cat? I don't know. Do children wear pantyhose? That's a good question. I would guess likely because, you know, in the U.S. Yeah, I've seen girls run, wandering around like that. Right. In the U.S., they've got all those uh, kids who are like beauty queens. <laughs> yes, they do have kids. So there's probably some sort of like section on Amazon, right? Where you've got that, you know, children's Amazon beauty pageant uh, pantyhose section. Yeah. yeah. Where do you, where do you get that? Like, what, what, what comes to your, what, like at what point in your, in your life do you go, okay, I need to buy pantyhose for my kid? <laughs> well, that's, you know, I don't have any kids, so I'm just, this is all supposition here. Yeah, but I can imagine very well in my life with kids, that would be every three or four days. I'd be like, "Oh, we gotta get more pantyhose, We're running out." Going down to you have to stop robbing banks with them. I don't think that counts as good parenting. Yeah, go down to Costco and get a big, you know, get the bulk bin of kids' pantyhose. There, I don't. Yeah, that should be a thing. I've never actually been to Costco because I'm not American. Okay. But. Well, you've been you've been to like the the Price Mart here, which is kind of like Costco, but for Ticos. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Do you think I like the like roast beef section? What do you mean the roast beef section? <laughs> <laughs> it's just roast beef. You go get. You mean the cold meat? Yeah, no the 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 section where it's like already pre made like rotisserie chicken and like the barbecue like beef thing right there. Yeah. Oh my god. God, like, you know, I'll stand there, like, in the aisle eating it naked if I have to. Can I tell you a secret? What? Mm. Lately, down at the, the local uh, grocery store, you know, they have the, the rotisserie chicken uh, yeah. everywhere, right? Because it's super popular here, obviously. And now I'm into this thing, right, where I'm eating chicken. You ever seen, like, Girl Interrupted? No. Okay, there's a movie, but anyway, it's called Girl Interrupted, and it's got, like, Winona, Winona Ryder. It's really good. But the point is there's this, like, character in it who's, who's kind of insane, and uh, she eats rotisserie chickens and then, like, keeps all the bones and stuff under her bed and everything. Yeah. Kinda, I'm kind of perfectly get, normal to me. Yeah. Well, I'm getting to that okay. point now. I'm eating a lot of rotisserie chicken and I'm getting to, you know what's happening. I'll go down there and it's normally like, I don't know, eight bucks to buy like a, a roasted chicken. Oh, man. I know. But here's the thing is that you can go down just before they close and you can buy it for half price. Oh, man. <laughs> so I've got like a $4 jalapeno coated roasted barbecue herb chicken now it's like 8 30 at night and i'm just in my couch on my couch you know i'm just wearing my boxers watching star wars and uh and just eating chicken not godzilla not yeah. godzilla no not that were you watching the old godzilla or the new godzilla go old of course I and mean, he's still in a freaking puppet suit you're watching like godzilla godzilla like old school <laughs> Yeah. Like not like John Cusack running around. Uh, I didn't even know there was a John Cusack Godzilla. You didn't know there's the new Godzilla that came out like 10 years ago. Wow, really? I had no idea. Okay, well, it's out there. Well, I, what I was watching was like pre, you know, 1995, so. Um. I don't know. Like right now, I, you know, I finished the chicken today and I, I want to go out and get another chicken. Like right now. I want to go Dude, down to I the store. I want a chicken, man. Mm -hmm. Do you want, why don't you come out here? It's going to be fun. As you come out here, we'll get some chicken and some stamps, and we'll sit around in our underwear, and we'll watch Godzilla. I mean, I already have the, the USB files, so. Okay. So just, just put it on your stick and bring it out. It's just, yeah. uh, that sounds like a date to me. Yeah, that's a very, really, like, that's a good first date. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got enough footage here to, uh, to cut a show. Footage, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, footage. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, I'm like, you saw me like literally sitting here naked. <laughs> uh -huh. Did you say you got one towel like up and one towel down? You got like a head towel yeah, and a body a towel. Yeah, it's a combo. All right. Blue and you said purple and brown. 
Yeah. Have you seen the Have you seen the purple and brown videos? No. What is that? <gasps> what are you fucking with me? What is that? Are you fucking with me? You haven't I've seen. I've never heard seen... purple and brown video. Okay, what? I think it's you haven't fucking you are you fucking with me? You haven't seen brown and purple. No. Oh my fucking god! Are you on? The was that? I know you're on the internet because you're talking to me. Is that you're, really a thing? It's really a thing. You're on the internet right now, right? Well, right. the internet's on me, but okay. I guess yes. That's weird. That. <laughs> <laughs> you like my thunder sound? <laughs> yeah. Could you do me a favor and could you type louder? Oh, purple. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. What do you mean, yeah? I've seen. Th I've seen this. I just didn't know that was what it was called. Oh my god, purple and brown are the greatest. Yeah, like uh, I love claymation. Hey. Oh. Hey. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen this. Yeah, well, there you go. Purple and brown. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to probably roll. Uh, make another scotch. Edit this into a show. Okay. Does that sound cool? How long are these shows? Like 15 minutes, right? Well, it's an hour. For, like, a show's an hour. show's but. an hour, but, you know, I'm trying to do this new thing. I, I don't really know yet. Like, it's been, like, I've sort of changed the format. Where it used mm -hmm. to be on the internet, I would, I would take the whole show in the hour. And I'd sit down with a guest, and we'd talk, and then we'd play the tunes, and then we'd talk over the tunes, and broadcast it live, and then we'd have the podcast. But I thought mm -hmm. I'd change the whole thing. And I'm like, now I'm doing this whole kind of crazy editing thing. You know, and I, I don't know. A lot of people are really liking it, so I'm gonna just keep doing that. Does that make sense? What what is what is this crazy editing thing? You just edit in between and yeah, a little bit. Like we we kind of talk over where the segments are gonna be. I'm gonna slap it all together into a show. Uh, here, like in this particular show, I ended up calling like three different band members on the phone and just like you know shot the shit with them before their tunes mm -hmm. and stuff. So I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out exactly what the show needs to be going forward and what people might like and more importantly what I would like mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm having a hard time kind of figuring it out so do me a favor if you want like if you check out the show when I when I upload it tonight uh, mm -hmm. you know just shoot me some notes and, and tell me what you think because I'm trying to get something that I want I want to do a combination of two things one I want something that's going to be very indie music focused as it always has been you know but at the yeah. same time, I, I want to tell a story through it. And I've got this idea, but I, I'm having a hard time putting it together where I want to imagine that the there's going to be a theme to each of the shows. Okay. So say for example, one of the one of the themes is, I don't know, pick a favorite word, like chicken or something. You know, chicken. The the <laughs> idea is that the entire show is going to be based around chicken. Does this make any sense so far? Yeah, okay, yeah. So what happens is that my co-host and I will talk about chicken. We, we will call band members, and we will not talk to them specifically about their music, but talk to them about chicken and play their music. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then we'll call like an expert on chicken. Maybe we'll even bring in a chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear your How does this work for abstract ideas that don't like actually... Well, I guess that's why you're maybe you'll call in a chicken. I have a bunch of chickens if you ever need them. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm using chicken as an example. Is as what the theme's going to be? The theme can be anything. It could be an abstract yeah. idea, of course. But it's just sort of. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a way that the show can represent something that is indie music focused, but isn't what you would typically expect an indie music show to be about. And the thing is, I don't really uh, listen to a lot of indie like radios in in general. So like, I don't even know what would be like an out, an out like an out of sphere experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. And, and this is the thing is that well, you can well imagine, it's a yeah. guy who's a DJ who calls bands and talks about music. Yeah. And that's great because those guys cover that really well. But I don't I don't want to do that. It's sort of like in today's way of doing things. God, I sound like an old man nowadays. <laughs> You can just go on the internet and find your own information. And it's true, because if you want to find out and dig deeper into the band, you can. But it's sort of like if, if you're going to have a storyteller who's going to take you on a ride, I would much rather have some of my favorite bands get on the podcast and talk about something other than themselves or their band. To hear yeah. them talking about an idea or, or chickens or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that a lot. So that's that's kind of the concept, is like, 
it's it's great when a band because you, you know how it goes with these bands like they do all these press junkets they get all these interviews and they all they do is talk about the record and it becomes really monotonous and just and you know they, they pump it out yeah whereas it'd be awesome if it was sort of like you got more of an insight into the personality of the songwriter as a guy that or a girl that you got to spend time with and talk to yeah i like that a lot better see what i'm saying so what what what's your dilemma here? Like what are you what are you still trying to figure out? Well, I guess it's becoming it's coming down to now because instead of doing it like like you know shutting down and retooling the show and starting again, I'm just doing it as I go along. It's an evolution into that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm getting at now is that I'm doing more what's called pre-production where I sit down for, you know, 4 or 5 hours over the course of the week and I produce what's going to be the show before I actually finish and finalize it and upload it. So what I'm mm -hmm. thinking about is that it, it, it's going to require more pre-production in that, say, for example, we lay out the next five shows and what the concept is that we're going to be talking about so that when I contact the bands or the, or, the, or the record labels contact me, which is lately the case, I can say, yeah, I'm happy to interview so-and-so from this band, but we're going to talk about the way apples taste now versus what apples tasted like when you were 12. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. that sort of that's the. How do you think they would react to that? Like, I think extremely well, honestly, because all it takes is one or two good shows in the can that they can listen to in advance, and they go, "Oh, I get this idea, and I want to be a part of that." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if I called a band right now and said, "Yeah, we're going to talk about chickens," they're going to be like, "You know, fuck off, <laughs> we're done." Yeah. Whereas if I called a band and they said, "Yeah, it's Corey from Five Gallon Podcast," I'm like, "Oh, you're the chicken guy. You bet." <laughs> Wow, you're really on this rotisserie chicken thing, aren't you? Like I said, yeah, bones under the bed getting bad. I don't have bones under my bed, but... It's getting there. Man, you... now I really want some rotisserie chicken, like... Mm. I'll, I'll treat you to rotisserie chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a good place here in Zantana that's actually pretty good, with tortillas and everything. I know the place you mean. Uh, unfortunately, we've only got one place here, and that's Mass Pormenos to get the, the rotisserie chicken. Yeah, yeah. Kind of Which is weird. Why? It's like hako. How can they not have chicken? It's not, it's not, uh, it's not super tico here. And there's more seafood than there is chicken. Chicken's a Central Valley thing. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. That's what they love there. Here they love fish. Ceviche, ceviche, ceviche. Well, you're going to get radiated. <laughs> you got that right. All right, I'm going to chuck this into a show. You just, you just inspired me now to start working on the, uh, the, the newer iterations chicken. of this. Okay, so Which we will now call Project Chicken. Oh man, I like that. All right, when you come out here, we're gonna work on Project Chicken a bit over chicken. Okay. It'd be nice. Oh. <laughs> See, this is why this show is awesome. That is why this show is awesome. Project, <laughs> <laughs> project Chicken. <laughs> it's like you know, people were eavesdropping. Are like, oh, what's Project Chicken? Mm -hmm. And then they they're gonna tune in in like six weeks when we talk about chickens. Yeah. And we have a chicken. God, we might actually, we might have to slaughter a chicken. We can do that. I can I, do that. I know, I know. And it's just, it's so hard to do. But at the same time, it's like, if you're going to eat chicken every day, you should know where it came from. Well, you know where Ozzy Osbourne, how like he became famous, right? Yeah. Well, the bat and the chicken yeah. and the dove. Uh. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> now he would probably just get like tasered and freaking arrested, but... Yeah, nowadays you, you should, can't. You should do a theme of Ozzy Osbourne then and Ozzy Osbourne now. God, that would be good. You know who'd love that? Harry loves Ozzy. Mm. All right. I'm not even, like, I'm so, I can still see that. And I haven't even met the guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, okay. All right. I'm going to run nope. and, uh, and slap this together. I appreciate your time so much. No problem. Um, yeah, just let me know when it's up and I'll go listen to it. Okay, you'll know because it'll be it'll just magically appear on the internet because uh, I think I've got this thing where on Facebook it just automatically shows up. Unless when it works, right? Yep. When it decides to work, uh, when the gods deem it to be. God, I like the way you think. All right, you're right. I'll let you know for sure. Okay. All, all right. right, thanks so much, cool. dude. No problem. Ciao. Bye.